so I am just continuing to put layers of, of varnish on. And then after it has dried, I am coming back with a 600 grit and I'm wet sanding this. Now, we're not taking down very much, and, but what I'm trying to do is build depth. Um, there's, you know, still some pop marks, uh, some little areas where, you know, it's not quite getting dry all, I mean, not dry, but it's not quite getting um, all the way flat. But that's okay. I mean, I keep looking at what we've done with the boat and that has about 10 coats of varnish on it. And this 600 grit, I mean, it's not, it's not taking down anything. And for those of you who can see the little marks there, I just decided I wasn't gonna worry about them. We'll use those as kind of like a little distress area. But what, we, what we're kind of working for is that every time you get in to do this, that those little puff marks or the dirt or, or whatever that is, as you can kind of see here, there's little grooves there, that those continue to get filled in so that you end up just having this surface that is smooth. And we're also gonna get that when we take and buff it out. But this way, you know, you try to resolve all of that. Okay. And like the boat, trying to do is to get all of these surfaces flat and stuff you know they're still shiny on there but here's the thing you don't want to get rid of you, know, you, you don't want to just take it all the way down because uh, then you're gonna be right back where you were you probably have all the varnish taken off um, you want to slowly build that up and you see a couple areas there's one right here I'm gonna do a little bit more work on. You know, at 600 grit, you're not taking very much off. But you know, you want to get to the point where it is just all flat. I'd rather slowly work up so that you have it flatter and flatter each time. Okay, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back and I am going to put a hair dryer on it just so we can get it all dry and then we're gonna put another coat of varnish on it. We'll go from there. So let's get our isopropyl alcohol. Make sure we get this surface really clean all of the dust and dirt off of it. surface is really getting very smooth. I'm using a lot of these sponges and it's thank goodness for Harbor Freight.
and I'm just stirring up. I actually do not have very many more brushes here. Have to go to Harbor Freight and pick up some more. So I'm gonna first go around and get all the corners. Seems like the area that you that I miss a lot. And then I'm gonna put this down fairly thick. Then we'll come back. And kind of wet it out with with the larger it's a little chilly where I'm at, you know right now N not really that bad it's probably about 62 here in the garage but what I'm gonna do is I won't let it dry out here a little bit too chilly. I'll let it dry in the house. I'm just going to put some extra on here. Take a look at this. Make sure that we've got all the spots here done. And it is, you know, it's starting to puddle a little bit. It's starting to run a little bit. But that's okay. I'm going to let this run down here. Because the biggest thing at this stage is to have enough material on there for it to fill in those grooves. Looking down, <clears throat> looking down through this. Got our lights on here. I really think we're getting pretty close. Don't want that to puddle. But I think it's starting to lay down. Not all that great. I'm just trying to get it so that I can catch the light. looking really good. I'm going to go around the edges, although we can always take the edges off. We've seen that in other, in other episodes. Yeah, I actually think, I think we're really good on this. I'm going to take this inside 
uh, to a warmer climate so that it can start doing its thing. So I've spent a lot of time uh, coming in here and sanding this down once again, um, taking all the high and low spots off. They're still not all there. Uh, we did paint the other side, which is good, but I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, I'm gonna try some of this. Uh, it's, it's the same paint that we used, but it's in a spray can. So I've already done this on the neck and the neck turned out pretty good. Um, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna take it inside and then let it dry. So I went ahead and I sprayed this and I've actually put, I put some really heavy, a heavy coat on there. And actually a couple heavy coats, one right after the other. Uh, it's a little chilly out here in the garage, but um, I think kind of slowing down the, the drying of it. But I think I'm gonna take this upstairs, put it in the, the, uh, the studio up there just to allow it to dry the rest of the way but I think it turned out well. So really the next step of our process is to remove all the tape. After we've taken it, I think we kept spraying this. And, well, you could continue to just spray and spray and spray. But I do think that the finish ended up nice. Uh, I will need to do some buffing. The, the one thing, and I know that the camera just does not pick this up, but when we started this, this was a really heavy, really bright blue. And on this varnish, oh, there's a really bad spot here. On this varnish, um, really kind of looked at it and it just kept yellowing it. So I would look for a clear, clear varnish that doesn't go yellow, because uh, what this did, did. I'm seeing a really bad spot here. And I'm wondering, I actually think that I should sand that down. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna sand that down and I'm gonna repaint that. The rest I think could be buffed out, but that can't. Uh, that's got a rough spot on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll go back and do one more spray. I really don't know what the best way to do this is. I'm sure there's a specific way to do it, but I'm just gonna come in and use some automotive polish that I've got. I've got a, a three-step machine polish from Griot's Garage. Now, I'm sure you could use anything, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna polish this first with a one, and then I'm gonna do to a two, and then I'm gonna actually do a, I'm gonna finish it out with a a best in show wax. So all I'm doing is kind of putting it on this pad here. Random orbital at a slow speed. And so slow we need to plug it in.
gonna then change and put a different pad on. And I got a buffing pad. this down go to a a two And then my very last pass is going to be, there's a best in show wax. And we'll finish this out. So that should, should, should give me a pretty decent finish. And you know, if I was still going to work on this, I would probably sand it down again um, and spray it again, but definitely using spray instead of a brush. So kind of keep that in mind. So the next thing we're going to end up doing is putting on the neck on this. Get that glued in so that we can continue on throughout the process.